Well, it's Larry Hawks from Saving Local History. I'm out on the site today to see if I can find a few Civil War relics, and the wind's starting to blow pretty hard. I think it's supposed to get up to like 15 miles an hour today, so it's going to be chilly. I may have to go back to the vehicle and put some more clothes on. I'm going to get out here and see what I can find, and I'm going to be swinging this today. Got my GPX 5000 again with an external speaker. I don't know if I'll be able to hear it in this wind. I've got the 15-inch DTEC Ultimate Spiral Coil. Got my Piranha Shovel. So I'm going to get out here and see if I can find anything before I freeze to death. And I appreciate you watching my videos, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And be sure to like the videos and comment and let me know what you like or don't like about them, or if you have any questions and so forth. And I'm going to try to give you the experience of being with me today and helping me dig. That is, if we find anything to do. So I'm going to get off here and see what I can find. This is my first signal. Went back to the vehicle and got my Torsace. Set up the way I usually use it, the black sand off. Saw to 26, tracking off 6.4 kilohertz. Got the threshold at minus four. I'm gonna change it to minus one. Can you even see it? Right, minus one discrimination zero. Sensitivity. I've got it on nine. I'm gonna have to back that down just a little to seven. So let's see if we get anything. I've already ground bounced, but I'll ground bounce again. Okay. I don't know if I get down here where you can hear this. Very weak signal. It's reading minus 28, minus 27. Jumped up our once to plus 19. Just a speaker, you can't hardly hear it in this wind, but it occasionally jumps up to 25. I mean, that's a real if I was just coming up here, they're here detecting. Yeah, I would probably dig that. Went back and got my Equinox 800 out. I've done a ground bounce and noise cancel. I'm running volume 25, using five tones. I got a recovery speed of three. I got both my iron balance FE and F2 on zero. So let's see if we get anything. So very very weak iron signal. Minus nine. Definitely would not dig that. Let's hear this with a 15 inch coil on the GPX 5000. Let's just dig it up now and see what we got. You can see, you can see a bullet down in the hole right there. Now the Tosachi gave me a signal occasionally on that, but not a very good signal. Just every now and then it would read a positive number. It would give me a little bit of a good tone. Equinox, no possible way I would have done it with Equinox. Every way I tried to set it, I couldn't get any signal at all. Not even an iron signal. So here we are, looks like nine inches deep. So we're going to be on the scoreboard here in just a second. There we go. There's bullet number one for today. Saving local history. Boy, that wind is cold. Well, let's see if we can find another one. 
here. There's another signal of some sort. Well, I've got the tar sachet again with those same settings. Got sensitivity seven. I'm gonna bump the sensitivity up to eight. Miles ain't get any. Getting a little bit erratic, but not a lot. It's in mixed mode. That's giving me a, a plus 22, minus 25, minus 22. Plus 23, minus 28. It's not uh, the VDI is not too consistent, but it is giving me a tone. I would dig that if I was out to just detecting up through here and came across that. I would dig it. Okay, here's the Equinox. It's giving me a tone occasionally. Give me a 17. So I'm getting a lot of false readings right there. Very iffy signal. I mean, if I hit it just right, I might dig it, but uh, it's not giving your typical bullet signal. Hope you're able to hear me in all this wind. So listen to it with it. GPX one more time. Definitely a good signal for GPX. Let's dig it and see if it's good or bad. But before I do, I'll try the Tarsachi one more time. Make sure I was over the right place. off. Okay, here we go, the Tarsachi one more time. Pin point. All right, I'm not on the right place. Minus 24, minus 26, minus 28. I want to dig that going by the VDI or the signal. So I take back what I said originally. Here's discriminate mode. No tone whatsoever. Back to mix. And then there's something there. But it's an iffy signal. So I don't know if I dig that or not. Here's the Equinox again. Well, I am getting a signal. Sound wise. Well, with the Tarsachi and the Equinox, based on the VDI, I want to dig this. Both of them would occasionally give you a sound on it, you know, a tone that may say that it's something non-furious. I'd say the uh, Tarsachi had just a little bit of edge on the Equinox on this signal. So let's dig it and see what it is. Let's see what it is. Keep my eye on it. Hope you can hear me in all this wind. Something down here, I don't know. Well, I think I do know what. There's something white right there. Assume that's a bullet. From what I can tell with her tape measure, looking at between seven and eight inches. 
I'll call it seven inches. Seven inches, let's see what it is. That's definitely a bullet. See it right there. Seven inches. There it is. Well, that GPX hits real good on these bullets in this hot ground, but uh, these others just don't seem to cut it, not even at seven inches. This don't look like hot ground. It's kind of brown, but it is real hot. Well, let's hope we have another good day here. That's two bullets out of two holes. Tarsachi signal. Occasionally get a little bit of tolling. Of course, can't hardly hear it in this wind. But the VDI basically stays around minus. There's a plus something. Plus 21, minus 28, minus 26. Just very occasionally gives you a plus. Plus 12, minus 29. Chirp, I call it. Discrimination part of the mix mode. Here's discrimination. Uh, just every now and then. Here's the equinox on that same signal in the wind. Just a little bit of iron tone. No good beating. whatever this is. Well, as you can see, folks, right here at the end of my rule, it's another bullet. If you look here, it's right at nine inches deep. The GPX 5000 had no problem whatsoever hitting that, but the Tarsachi and especially the Equinox basically you're just wasting your time if you're hunting on a site like this it's got hot soil like this one does even though it's not red you may find some bullets five six and occasionally seven inches off and on with the tarsachi and hopefully occasionally with the equinox but you're going to miss an awful lot of stuff anyway that's what how i see it right now that's three targets in a row i'm not going to spend a lot more time comparing today i'm gonna to get out here with the gpx and see what else i can find so let's see what this one looks like well it looks like a sharps carbine bullet at least that's what I'm thinking it is. Got two rings. Pretty sure that's what it is. If it's something different, I'll put it in the notes on the video. First one of those I found here. Saving local history. Three holes, three bullets. I'm about to go put some more clothes on. A little piece of a horseshoe nail. I knew it didn't give a real good signal. I just want to dig it up to see. Well, I see a bullet down in here. I think so. I think it's a 
about where it was. It's ten inches deep. Let's see what we got. Mm. I can't get out. Mm. Put some other three ring bullet. About ten inches deep. Pretty boy. Saving local history. Beautiful day if it wasn't for the wind, but it's not too bad. I got enough clothes on. Decided to try to dig down deep and throw this one out in the dirt. Oh. There's something here, I see. Yep, got us another bullet. Another three ring bullet. Yankee bullet. It's amazing how all these bullets have been missed for close to 50 years. Been laying in the ground for well over 150 years. Saving local history. Very deep sound and signal. Looks like we got us a deep bullet here. It still sounds like a Deep bullet signal. See. Well, looks like just a picked up just a clod of dirt. Oh, look what's in it. Look out! Boy, that was deep. I'd be afraid to say how deep that was. But that old GPX found it without any hesitation. And that's not using headphones. Just an external speaker. And I got the gold screamer kit. So saving local history, having another good star of the day. Now there's a deep silent bullet signal. See that down there, right there. That's 13 inches deep on the low side. 13 inches deep. There again, I'm sure the Tarsachi or the Equinox won't touch that. Not even a peep. At least that's my opinion from what test I've made so far. Let's see what this is. Hey, yo. It's a little pistol bullet way down in there. A little pistol bullet. Great, day 13 inches deep for that little old pistol bullet. I'm not sure if that's a Colt or a Sage, but it's probably 44 caliber. Nice find on this Yankee bullet ground. And a deep sound. still in the bank. I would say it's close to 11 inches deep. Well, actually on this upper side, I'd say 12, 13 inches deep. So if I'm rolling him out there. Yep, there he goes. 
arms ain't long enough. Another three ring bullet, right at 13 inches deep. Out of the range of a lot of metal detectors, especially in this hot ground. Saving local history. Another deep signal. That was a Ben horseshoe nail. It was deep. It was a shorter sounding signal. Let's see if we can get something out of that hole. Make a hole in. Let's see if we can get something out of it. Well, if you can see that in the wall right there. Right there. Looks like another bullet. That one's probably, I'd say nine inches at least. Nine inches away. That cow track made it look more shallow, but it's about nine inches. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's in there solid. Another nice three ring bullet. Yankee bullet. It's hot brown dirt. Still figuring out this GPX 5000. I think I'm about to get it down pretty good, at least on bullets. Saving local history. Here's another one up here on the flat. Look like it's exactly 10 inches deep. See him right down there. Pretty white bullet right down here. Take my potato skip chip scoop and see if I can move him. Boy, he's in there solid. There he is, another three ring bullet. Boy, I'm up here on the flat now. I hope there's some up here. It'd be a lot easier to dig. I think that makes bullet number 10. It's about lunchtime, so that's a good place to sit down, have a lunch, and drink me a little bit of water. Appreciate you coming along with me today and helping me dig these. Makes me feel a little bit not as crazy, like I'm not here by myself talking. The cows won't even come around me. Here's the first one after lunch. It's a little loose, so I'd say it's, I'm going to guess it's about nine inches deep. Another pretty three ring drop bullet. I'd love to know what these boys were talking about when they were here and what was going on in the world. I'd say it was probably not as bad as it is today, if the truth was known. Except they were killing each other. Maybe a very deep signal, I don't know. sure about this one. Well, I thought that was a deep sea. It was kind of faint. See the bullet down there in the bottom? I'd call that 14 inches deep. My folding rule can prove it. 14 inches. Now that is deep. That was a faint signal, but it sounded right. Hey, damn. There it is, from the depth of 14 inches. That's definitely a 14 inch Civil War bullet. It's took it 150 some years to sink that deep. Saving local history.
having another great day. Pistol bullet. Either a pistol bullet or a ballard, I can't really tell. Looks like it's got part of the casing on it. It's probably a little ballard, but I don't know. It could be a Merle, I don't really know. I have to clean him off and look him up when I get home. Saving local history. Having a fairly good day. This one's too loud. It has to be something shallow. There's a big iron bolt that's been bent. That one's too loud too. It's probably junk. This one come up with a sod. Maybe not. Well, it's like we got another pistol bullet. Yeah. I'll have to figure out for sure what kind it is, or it's a cult or a sage. I like to find them though. Saving local history, the shadows are starting to get long on me. Stuck in the weeds. Turn my speaker up a little bit because I can't hear too good. Well, this looks like this one come up in the sod. I got another one of those pistol bullets. I'll have to figure out for sure what kind they are. Probably a Colt 44, but I'm not sure. Saving local history. Having another good day, but time's running out as usual. Well, it's Larry Hawks from Saving Local History again. I put in another pretty good day today. This wind's about knocked me down. Actually, about froze me to death today. It's supposed to have been warm today, but it sure wasn't. I think I've just about cleaned this uh, Yankee field out, this bullet field. I went over areas that I've been in before and hunted a little slow and just kind of circling around just to kind of see if I'm ready to ride it off for a while and get on some of my Confederate sites now that I've got some practice with this GPX. Let me show you what I found today. I to guess what I call a box and a half day. There's the first I found. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten. Ten three ring drop bullets. And that one right there, I think, is a sharps carbine. I can't remember for sure. And I think this one. Well, I can't get it out of here. That might be a Colt bullet or a Sage bullet. I found three of those. And I found that one, I think, may be a Ballard bullet. Not bad. Three pistol bullets and a Ballard and the rest. Uh, three rings with the exception of that. Uh, Look at that, I think it's a Sharps carbine. Not bad, that's what, 15 bullets. Well, as I said, I've done better and I've done worse, but I had a good time on this uh, Yankee bullet field. Several real good days. I think I end up finding 154, 64, I think 169 bullets on this site since the 1st of November which I've done better on sites, but that ain't bad considering this site's been hunted to death by me and a lot of other people for a total of about 50 years. So I got a long drive home and I'm kind of cold and dirty. I'm gonna get off here and uh, check out for tonight. So I appreciate you watching my videos again and for subscribing to my channel. Catch you on the next one.